Hey everybody, the Reeswirl here, and welcome back to more Rhapsody, a musical adventure. Okay, we just need to go to the castle. To continue. Are you a contestant? I am indeed. Then no, please, come in, it's time. I love how you could just say that to anybody. It's like they could just ask and they could. everybody could be like, yeah. What the hell is this? Whoa. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I go up the stairs? Oh, I can. Yay! This is the waiting room. You can go to the event hall by taking the passage to your right. The opening ceremonies will start soon, so please hurry. Okay. Ah, oh, right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for attending the contest. As all of you may know, the contest this year is a special one. Today our prince will choose his bride to be. I believe social status has nothing to do with a woman's value. I would hope that Ferdinand chooses a woman with inner beauty and strength. Good luck to all of you. Oh, that must have been the queen. Oh, it was. Okay. Well, a woman's true value is not judged by her status or beauty, huh? Sure knows what she's talking about. Of course, she is the mother of the prince, after all. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I will now describe how the contest will be judged. In the first round, we will be judging you on dress. We will be judging you not by its cost or beauty, but by how naturally you carry and express yourself in the dress. <laughs> Alright, this round is as good as yours. You really think so? Brilliant. The second is leadership. Strong leadership abilities are essential qualities that a queen must possess. Say, for example, if the king were incapacitated in some way, the queen must be ready to take over the army at a moment's notice to defend the kingdom. We will also be testing your ability in actual combat. According to our queen, the household is like a battlefield itself. Whatever that means. Good luck to you all. Yay! Nobody told me that. Good combat. Karuru, what should I do? Did you hear what he said? Yeah. You stink at stuff like that. Who's gonna have your attention again for just a few more minutes? And the final round will consist of a singing competition. It is meant to be an expression of your true self through music. No matter what the lyrics are, we'll know if you're singing if you're truly singing from the heart. This now concludes the judging criteria. The contest will begin in fifteen minutes. Good luck! Hooray! That doesn't sound so bad. Oh, I am in control. Okay. The leadership category, that sounds really exciting. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Ba -da 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 -da. -ba -da -ba -da. Once I marry the prince, I can have anything I want. I'm willing to do anything in order to achieve that. Okay. Should I charm a few soldiers to help me? No. I thought the contestants would be judged solely by their beauty. Of course not. I'm a great singer, but I don't know about this combat thing. Should I give up before I get hurt? <laughs> Probably. What kind of contest is this? Why do I even? Why did I even bother signing up? Leadership, huh? What the? Uh, it's called when you take charge of something. <laughs> oh! Would you be quiet, father? But you. I have no intention of marrying the prince. Then why? I can do whatever I want. Anyway, I'm not interested in marriage. Having a family doesn't mean anything. You and mother proved it. Hoo hoo! What's this? What are you going to do? Slap me? Come on! All you and mother care about is money and status, nothing else. You don't care about me. You want me to get married to the prince so you can move up the social ladder. Well, you've got another thing coming. Oh! Damn! Connor, what are you doing here? You're not going to slap me too, are you? Hi, Mr. Rosen Queen. I'm sorry you had to see this. It's alright, I'll be going now. Connor, what do you think about my daughter? Huh? She's, uh, nice and caring and, uh, stuck. She's a bloated, self-centered, egotistical maniac who cares only about money. 
Shut up, Guru. <laughs> Donate, you're such a nice girl. You don't have to lie to her for her. I think she is bloated and selfish. But she wasn't always like this. That was until she was about five years old. My business was expanding and my wife and I were caught were so caught up in social functions that we were not home for her as much as we would have liked to be. To make up for that, we started to give her money. Oh. What kind of dough are we talking about here, Pops? Well, to make a long story short, started to depend on money for everything, even for her emotional needs. I want to make things right between us, but I just don't understand her anymore. She depended on money for everything. That's pretty sad. Nope, I'm sorry. But the funny thing is, she's been getting along with you all this time. I'm not so sure about that getting along part. Anna, please take good care of her for me. Yeah, sure. Thank you. I know in my heart, if there's anyone who can reach her, it is you, Connor. Good luck. I still don't know how you say her bloody name. <laughs> say her bloody name. Thank you, Mr. Rose and Queen. Yeah! He's a good father. Yeah. Father. Wonder what kind of person my father was. Does she not know her parents, then? We'll now begin the first round of the contest. Contestants, please report to the waiting room. Oh, this is gonna be good. Yeah, because we have to get in the uh, the thing. Where's the waiting room? Is this the waiting room? Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Where were you? Line up. No, because our dress is hilarious. We get an Elkoon. Mm-hmm. Good luck, Garnet. Yeah. I'm sure she wears the bear suit. Or maybe not. When does she put it on? Oh no, no, never mind. The first round will now be in. Oh right, they're all getting dressed. Right, okay. Here's number 21. From the part town of Blue Cat, Katarina Mihail? Whoa. It's like one of those runway things. God, this is gonna, this is gonna be a long scene. <laughs> Number twenty-two, capital city of Mother Mother Green, of course. Her dress looks the exact same as the one she w wears normally on her character model. Oh God, this is just gonna. There we go, done. And last but certainly not least, oh, but certainly least. Number 23, from the village of Orange, Connor Esquire. <laughs> oh, this is great. Yeah, we're a bear! It's not even a bear, it's like a wind winged thing. Whoa, that's nasty. Get off the stage, you loser. What the heck is that? Come on. <laughs> hmm, does she really dress like that all the time? I thought girls wore nice dresses for contests like this. But it got his attention. She seems pissed. That was great. People were laughing at you. Why would I want them to laugh at me? Especially in front of the prince. I'm so embarrassed. Why did I listen to you in the first place? But you... I really thought it was a great idea. You're lying. You just wanted people to laugh at me. Oh no, not- Don't say that! She'll go away! But I don't want to see your face again. Don't get all sad now, I'm just telling you the truth. But oh. Hey! Pretending to cry, huh? I'm not falling for that trick again. Heartless. Oh, right. You win. This was the only dress I was able to prepare. I'm gonna get rid of her in the leadership category. She better be prepared. I don't know why she's so popular, she's such a snob. It is very frustrating. Snobs usually are. I found this really dumb soldier. I plan to charm him and use him to win the leadership category. I guess you need to do something out of the ordinary to beat her. I don't know her name, so I'll just refer to her, refer to her as her. Not that I'd want to make a fool out of myself in front of so many people. You mean like I just did? Yeah! We so good! Open the door, it's your father! Can you hear me? Why is she being this way? Uh oh. 
Sir Rose and Queen, is anything the matter? Oh, my Queen. You must be worried about your daughter. Yes, very much so. But it's alright, I don't think she understands my feelings. What, what is wrong with you? What kind of parent are you? Didn't you hear the applause the people were giving to your daughter? It proves that your daughter is becoming a great person that people can look up to. But that's only because of her expensive clothes. People can't be embarrassed, impressed by nice clothes alone. You're just not seeing... I think Etoile? I don't know how you say it. Etoile? <laughs> Etoile. <laughs> For who she is. That may be true, but... There will come a time when you will get along. As long as you truly care about her, Sir Rose and Queen. My Queen. Hmm. The second round will now begin. Contestants, please report to the waiting room. Where'd Karuru go? This is my room. Shouldn't you knock before you come in? Uh, no. Why, why would I ever do that? Oh. Where were you? Of course. I'm late to everything. Ba ba ba. What the? Where are we going? First round. Bout number five will now begin. In the blue corner, weighing in it a sultry 95 pounds, Olivia Redberry. She won in the first round. What is this? A very round 100 pounds, Garnet of Orange Village. Hmm. She seems so familiar. Is it in the castle or the village? I'm sure I've met her. You have. You saved her. From a dragon. The rules of combat are very simple. The battle is over when one of you is unable to continue to fight. Remember, this is the Miss Marl's Kingdom contest and foul play will not be tolerated. There will be no name calling, spitting, biting, scratching, or hitting below the belt. That is all. Yay! Fight. Oh, right, it's a boss fight. Oh, she has some, like, fairy things too. Alright. Oh, Oop. Triangle. Keep forgetting. What about the special plus shot? Yeah, that works. Hell yeah. No idea how much health she has, but sod it. Go! There we go. Oh, I am definitely winning. Yeah, I'll do. I could have actually done the attack that hits everybody. But never mind. Um. Yeah, I'll do this. Owned! I don't think magic will reach. Mega Sane! Nope. Damn, it's got quite a, a large radius too. Holy, that'll do. 25 though. But, sure. Whoa. Hit them with a rainbow. What the heck? Level 12. Level 11. 11. Found a healing candy. Nice. That was incredible. So that was the leadership, and the... <laughs> wow, that's mean. <laughs> the winner is the Ogre of Orange. Winners, please wait in the waiting room. We knocked her... out. What's wrong with, what's wrong with this thing? My horn isn't working right. Hmm. You know, your mother used to play this very same horn. My mom? Yeah, and that horn has a special power. What special power? It's the power to make wishes come true. Even my wish? Hmm, I wonder what my mommy wished for. Huh? I wish was for Connet to be happy. Really? Then, uh, I wish, I wish for Connet to make many, many friends. I wish to make many friends and play the horn. Okay. But first you must do this one important thing. Alright, Connet, this is very important, so listen. Okay. Wishing alone is not enough. In order to use the horn properly, you have to have other people wishing for you to show its real power. So you have to be nice to your friends, okay? Okay. Good. But there's no big deal. That's no big deal. Why is that? I already got you, Karuru. Yeah. You're right. We'll be together forever. Ah. Uh, that's why. Is it because Kuga Karuru isn't around? 
Uh, I can't be. I must be imagining things. I don't think so. Oh. The soldier I charmed to the win the contest has told me he that he loved me. He's protecting me while I was fighting and I think I'm in love. I'm done chasing after the prince. Alright. Well, that worked. Totally trashed me in combat using her weapons of mass destruction. Girls should be calm, calm and nice, don't you think? Did you hear that the girl in the third match was beat pretty bad? I don't want to look like her. Should I or shouldn't I? I don't even know what the hell they're on about half the time. Maybe I should give up. Mm. That's a quitter's attitude. Why should I be the one competing for her husband? I should find somebody who wants to get married to me. True. It is a very weird contest. That you're competing to get married? Weird. Who is it? It's me, Connor. Oh, it's just you. What do you mean by that? Can't you knock on the door at least? Didn't anyone teach you any manners? What do you want anyway? I'm not in a good mood right now. I can see that. Your father seems really worried about you. What do you care? It's none of your business. How would you know how I feel when you don't even have it? Oh. That's exactly why. I don't have a father or a mother. That's why. That's why I'm telling you to stop being so stubborn, okay? What did you say? You're not in any position to tell me what to do. Why don't you practice what you preach then, you hypocrite? I saw your last fight. You couldn't fight just because you didn't have Karuru alongside you. Karuru has nothing to do with that. Is that so? That's not what I saw. Don't you think that you should just make up with her? Never mind that. Why don't you just make up, you make up with your father? Now they're going back and forth. Why don't you make up with Karuru? Well, you've got a father and mother that worry about you. You're the one who doesn't understand how much you need Karuru. I don't know why I even bother trying. Go see Karuru right now and apologize. Stop whining, why don't you go apologize first? Fuck's sake. I don't think so, why don't you? You first. No, you first. Alright. Then let's say that the loser of the final round has to apologize first. You got yourself a deal. It's not like I'm gonna lose the final round. The final round? What are you talking about? I've only fought once. As close as ever, I see. Didn't you hear? The other girls got scared after watching the first battle and went home. Fools, why did they think... What did they think this was? A beauty contest? I don't bring those machine guns and rocket launchers for looks. Well, I'll see you in the Coliseum. Ta-ta! Rocket launchers? You think that she was going to war or something? She is. It's what becoming the princess's, uh, prince's bride is all about. Thank you for waiting. The final finals of the second round will now begin. Please report to the waiting room. <laughs> Are you sure you want to go through with this? Of course. It'll be fine. We've got a team of... Banassery. <laughs> Due to the fact that a majority of the contestants did not want to participate in this part of the competition, the next match will be the final match of this round. Fight! In the blue corner, weighing, it a p weighing in at a petite 90 pounds. What's the face of Mother Green? In the red corner, <laughs> at a slightly chubby 100. Wow. They're so nice to Cornette. So nice. Hey, she's a finalist, but hmm, I'm pretty sure I've met her somewhere before. I just can't put my finger on it. Do 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 do. Now, fight. Round one. Wait, so is it her on her own? Oh no, she's got like. Okay. That is ridiculous. What if I do reward? I don't think it's possible to win, but maybe. It hits all enemies. Go. Pancake! Oh my god, I wasted it. No! I get the feeling we can't hurt her, or we can't win. Yeah, everything we do misses. Okay, this is one of those fights you're meant to lose. Good to know. I should have assumed when she did one attack and it did nearly 200 damage. Yeah, she can kill. She can one shot everything. Great. 
You missed, at least. I'm all alone now. Use the horn! Oh, you can only use the horn when there's a puppet. Oh... Right, okay. Well, time to lose. We ascended! You're better than I thought, Connor. You never fail to surprise me. Are you psychopath? Are you trying to kill me? Where'd you get those weapons from? Stuff like that doesn't matter, Connor. How did I beat you? Do you believe that me being stronger and fast or faster matters in a place like this? Is that the reason? If that's what you're thinking, you're dead wrong. It's because you've lost someone important. When you're going through rough times, who are you usually with? See? That's what I thought. Why I help you is beyond me. You never know how much someone means to you until they're gone. That's why I beat you. She has a point. Once in her life, she's actually right. Karuru was always with me at times like this. I've taken her for granted. I've forgotten how important she is to me. How stupid. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Karuru. Where the hell did she even go? <laughs> the Marauder of Mother Green. Damn. Connet. Connet. Oh, she's here. Karuru. I'm glad that you're okay. I thought... I thought I could do everything by myself. I thought I was able to become who I am with my hard work alone, but... No, she needed her friends because of her wish. But all this time, day in and day out, you've been watching over me. I know you're the only one who'd put up with me. Thank you. Hey! It's alright, I know what's in your heart, don't you? Even if you don't say it. Right, so now what do we do? Because we lost. Hey lady, what are you doing? <laughs> what? She was listening. We'll now begin the third round. Contestants, please report to the waiting room. The heck? Connor, are you okay? I'm alright. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the third and final round. This is the singing one. This is it, Connor. It's do or die time. Good luck. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks. This is the singing round, right? Yeah, it is. I don't remember if we have to ch if we change into the dresses we wore and sing. I can't actually remember. So you two are the fin are the finalists. I can't wait to see how you two express your feelings in your songs. Let the final round begin. You remember your promise, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, get on with it. You don't have all day to make up with her. Sing the song for Karuru. I will, I will. But I've already made up with her. Come on, everyone's waiting. Alright already. You're next, though. I think it's two separate songs for this part. Just get on with it. And I think this is the song that she sang in... Wonderwoods. Yeah, it is. I can just tell from the music. There it is. Hey, look, it's... it's Karuru. And I'm pretty sure... it's Wal or whatever. Has a completely different song. I think. I don't know why they sing the same song, to be fair. I don't actually remember how long the bloody song is. This is a long event though, I know that much. <clears throat> I don't remember if it went for this far before. I don't think it did.
Oh, now it's her turn. Oh, they do the song one after another. I really hope her song's different. It sounds like it's got different music. You're such a lucky girl. Oh, there we go. That's what they always say. It turned into a duet. <laughs> Oh. Keep telling me my life is so grand. What will make that? Oh my god, I got goosebumps. Her song's kind of like her life. No one knows how true. Basically. But that's really just a lie. Who who's gonna win? I'd probably say they're equally as good. If only I could just let go. Help me let my feelings show. There we are. So they were both singing to respective people, I suppose. Can't it for Karuru, it's well for her father. Hmm. Oh, there we are. It's well. It's well. I have no idea. I thought you hated me. No, I was just I. I just did it because I made a promise to Connet. Nah. You both sang beautifully. Those songs were definitely worthy of the final round of competition. This contest has had a number of unexpected events. So why don't we have two winners? How's everyone feel about that? Huh? What? That means... You won, you actually did it. You're now a candidate to be the Prince's Bride. Really? Yeah! Karuru. What? Thank you. Quit it, you're making me blush. <laughs> so you're being honest now, huh? You too? But too? But how could the Queen pick two winners? We all hate that. Oh, we all know. I should have been the only winner. You never change. Well, you two should work together because you're gonna need all the help you can get. Congratulations, you two. This was that was a great contest. Whether you qualify for the title of Miss Marl's Kingdom. Thank you. I'm so honoured to hear those words from the first Miss Marl's Kingdom. Will you two be able to participate in the party next week? Of course, Your Highness. How about you? Who, who me? Uh, of course. I'm glad to hear that. I'm looking forward to seeing you both there. Do it, do it, do it. That Connor is such a funny girl. What's this party about? Ah, uh, you don't know. It's a birthday party for the prince next week. The winner of the contest is going to dance with the prince. Dance? I need to get a new dress. Oh, Connor, what are we going to do with you? Don't you know anything? You're supposed to wear the costume you wore during the contest. Then that means... That means you're going to have to wear that costume again. Didn't you read the fine print on the form for the contest? I was reading it before someone took it away. Oh. Karu, can I have a word with you? Uh, didn't I tell you? No, you didn't tell me. Oh dear, we have to be the bear. That's weird, she's sleeping on the on on the covers, not under them. Wake up. I guess she's tired. Prince's birthday party is today. I guess she was too excited to sleep last night. Come on, Connor, wake up already. Good morning. 